Hey guys, it's me, Better Gaming World, and welcome to a new gameplay, which is The Last Door Season 2 Collector Editions. If you saw my last video, um, I played the first season, and for some reason, someone disliked my video, but then again, I don't care. Anyways, you can see, this one is gonna be very creepy, because look at the faces of these guys. Like, look at this one, especially this one from behind, and this one, and this one. So yeah, um, um, this game... Um, it's gonna be very different from the first one. I saw some of the gameplay, some of the sneak peeks, and it's very different. And also, you can see continue. I was testing the game to see if it works and doesn't lag, and and proudly I can say that it works on my computer. My computer is strong enough to play this game. So anyway, let's start for the first episode, and um, let's go with episode one, the playwright, Dr. Wayfield, visit the East. Hill Asylum to investigate the past of Alexandra Du Pre, a man who might be connected to the Wakefield patient suddenly and mysterious disappearance, which is Jeremiah. So let's play the first one and let's go. New game. Yes, let's go. <coughs> wow. Sorry about that. It just it came out of nowhere. The coughing. <clears throat> Previously on the last door. Jeremiah DeVee, alerted by the suicide and mysterious letter of his friend Anthony Bishworth, went in search for the mysterious of his past that he had lost. DeVee discovered that in school, he has taken part in a strange experiment. Its goal was to peek through the veil, the thin line between common, com, common reality and the world of horror and madness that lies beyond, under the watch of the eye of the bird. During his research, he was in Correlated with a drug that had been used back then, the serum made the v made the v mind travel for a few hours to a dreamlike realm of the veil. There, he met his old classmate Alexander Dupree, who urged the v to join his cause and cross with him to the realm of the bird. When the v woke up from his trance, he found himself deeply convinced by his friend's words. He traveled to Dupree's house, where he discovered his friend had dosed himself with a new serum, leaving a catanarchic body behind. This new drug was capable of transporting the mind permanently to the veil and beyond. Finally, the v found a veil on the serum and had, and, had, and had it injected. He met his friend again in the veil, and together they walked through the last door, entering a world forbidden to human eyes. The V therapist, John Wakefield, worried by his vision disappearance and strange vision, he has sought the help of his colleague professor Johan Kaufman, an expert in the corset. Searching Anthony Bishworth's Bish house, Wakefield and Kaufman found a disturbing returning letter in which Anthony tried to warn Alexander Dupree of what could happen in the door was op if the door was open. He feared that something from the other side might then come to ours. Whoa. Okay, so we gonna begin playing? They are coming. Oh, there's a lady. Um, what shall we do? Oh, this? None of us could prepare for this. Okay. Uh, I can't touch. I cannot. Okay, so I cannot open the door. So I had to board up the thing. Oh, and by the way, this is blind. So I don't know nothing about this game. So I forgot to say that. The vision scream the vision screaming were were mer were merely a warning. Okay, so I had to board up the windows. And now and it's now it's it now is it too late? Oh, someone's banging on the door. What happened? They are coming. What happened? Oh, the intro. <laughs> okay, I will leave you guys. I will talk. I will catch you guys later. Okay, now that we finished watching the intro, let's see how this, who we're gonna play. 
All I know is not. Uh, all I know is is that it's not Jeremiah. So it's. Uh, I think it's the therapist. Okay, last night I had the nightmare again, but this time it was different. This time he talked to me. Oh yeah, is that the therapist of Jeremiah? So I think we had to walk. Yep. Oh wait, 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 wait. Oh, it was the same unknown street, boring any sound, any sound and life. So can we interact with this? No, 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 no. So we keep walking. Okay. Um, I walk aimlessly. It's how if I were lost. Okay. We can open that door. Nope. Okay, nope. I keep walking. Oh. Then I could hear it, the broken trampling of the wet cobblestones, the familiar sound of approaching limping footsteps. Whoa. Who's coming? Whoa. What the hell is that? That's pretty creepy. What the hell is that? Then as before, he stood in front of me, gazing unrestless, like he was expecting something. It better be a jump scare, please. This time he spoke and he gave me back what he took, nothing else. Give me back what he took. Give me back what he took. What did he took? Oh, it was just a dream. Of course, he... No, I have fallen asleep again? What time is it? Can I move? Nope, not yet. Dawn already? Is it time? Okay, can I move? Nope. Horse galloping. Oh, hey. It was several months since Kaufman and I have found the mysterious letter in Anthony Beachworth's house. A letter never sent with a quitting warning of what would happen if a certain door were open. It bore only the name of the address, Alexandre Dupree. Without sure, Dupree was the key to finding my patient and friend, Jeremiah David, who had disappeared in such strange circumstances, troubled by the death of his friend, Anthony. David had visited the school of, David had visited the school of his childhood and never been seen again. Kaufman soon conveyed to me his deep concerns and warned that I should conduct any investigation with the utmost discretion. He pursued his own research. Though, though, thought, though, thought, his thought, though his thoughts and method remained a, a secret. In his last letter, he requested that I visit East Hill Lunatic Asylum in London. There were reason to believe that Alexandre had been institutionalized there for many years. I was asked to confirm this hypnotesis and if it's proved correct to get whatever other information may, might arise. Okay, so we're in London. I think. So as you can see, Unlike the first one, we have a map. So I was testing this game, and when I found out that there was it was a map, I was like, "Oh my god!" So we have a map in this game now, unlike the first one. Anyway, let's go here, which is the asylum, East Hill. Okay, so season two, episode one, the playwright. Okay, and after this, I don't know what's going on after this. Bye bye. Okay, whatever. So this is Les Hill Lunatic Asylum. I hope I can find information of Alexander Dupree here. Okay, so let's talk to this kid. Good morning, boy. Would you give me a newspaper? Yes, sir. It's six pencil. I'm afraid I don't have a six pencil. Can you make a charge for a shiling? I'm sorry, I can't, sir. But do you know where to find me? But but do you know where to find me when you had? But you know where to find me when you had the coins. Okay. I would like to purchase a new paper. Yes, sir. Six sixpence. I uh, found I have a sixpence. Can you make a charge for it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blah, 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 blah. What you can tell me about this building, the asylum? I never been inside, and I hope I never will. It's full of crazies, you know. Have you seen anything unusual around here? 
No, but maybe if you bought a newspaper about the asylum. Maybe if you bought a newspaper. Okay, goodbye, boy. So I had to buy a newspaper in order to to him to talk. East Hill Nothing Asylum. So we, it is the asylum. So let's go in. <coughs> okay, where shall we go? Left or right? Uh, let's go here. Let's see what's here. Okay, there's a guy. There's a door. Let's check the door. The, the large door is made of strong metal. This must lead the secure warn of the hospital. It's locked shut. I can't open it. Okay, so this one is locked and this is the inmate quarters. Okay, so let's talk to the guy. Good morning. Ah uh, yes, a lovely morning. Sala of a quite fascinating character. I beg your pardon? The light. It makes everything look different. You see, light touches things, soaks into them, and changes their nature. It made them shinier or, or makes them die. Do you live here in the hospital? I do indeed. My family is a generous benefactor to East Hill. They had me committed, but I don't blame them. They're just incapable of appreciating my art or any art. For the matter, they mistake, they mistaken it for insanity. What are you drawing there? I'm not, I'm not just drawing my friend my fr I'm not just drawing my friend I'm trying to feel the light that to translate its power t to the surface of the paper these animals don't like it though they don't want me to succeed so they take they take them away they take away my drawings and they, they study them and they laugh because my eyes can see the light and theirs are blind but someday someday everyone will understand who are they the one who took your art away Ha! Those foolish caretakers. They hide behind a big mirror when they think themselves safe. And they look at me. They serve me. They even take notes. My name is Dr. Wakefield. I'm looking for a man who lived here some time ago. Would you happen to know one Alexander Dupree? The name does not ring a bell. I have not been here long. Though you should ask the other patients. They may be able to help you. Some have been here for many years. Okay, he doesn't know nothing about this Andre. Oh, you can ask one of the other, the booths who keep us here. Okay. Would you happen to know where your drawings are now? I suspect they're somewhere in the art trip since I've been seeing I've been, since I've seen confiscated items taken there before. You seem different from the rest. Can I trust you? I've been trying to sneak in for days now, but Miss Riswell keeps a tight guard on the, on the door. I even stole a key for one of the guard, one of these guards. You are Doctor. Show you, you can gain entry. If you could recall my drawings, I would be grateful. Here, take the key with you. Okay, I must go. Have a nice day. So I have a key. He gave me a key. So what is this? A few cardboard sheets lie on the bench, each shown a perfect symmetric design of black ink. Please do not touch them. Please do not touch them. Okay, so I cannot touch them. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back here and go inside the asylum. Right? The Yep, we going in. Let's see what's inside. Here's a lady. Let's talk to her. Good morning, madam. My name is Dr. Wayfield. I'm a psychiatrist. Oh my, good morning. Forget my manners. I get so excited when I ha when we have visitors. We don't get many, many these days, and certainly we are lacking experts like you. What do you mean you lack experts? Every year we get less founding from the crown. First the doctor started to leave, then it was to take the, the caretakers. Now very few remain, but we have responsibility to our poor patients, don't we not? We must care for them. They cannot be out, living with the proper people. We must keep ourselves safe and our patients too, of course. I'm looking for a man who used to be a patient here a few years ago. His name is Alexander Dupree. Did you perchance ever met him? Alexander Dupree, yes. There was one with a virgin name. I remember something of him. A good man, if I recall correctly. An educated man, but there was something strange about him, wasn't there? I believe it scares some other patients. You never know with this lot. I'm sorry that I can't remember much. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I can't remember much. 
there have been so many people here it's hard it, it is hard to keep track had you worked here for long yes a long time ago a long time ago i scarcely remember how many years time goes slowly in here and the insulation the rule don't allow us to leave oh wow i don't know what is happening in the world anymore but we have our duty don't we not who else work here for our patients May I request access to the Institute Archives? There should be some information there about the man I'm looking for for Mr. Dupree. I'm sorry, Doctor, but the archives are private. We must not allow anyone to assess them without the proper authority. Maybe our patient should come from a good family. You see, if we take great care to respect their privacy but do not look so crestfallen, you will not, you will not find much in any case. It's been a long time since they have been organized. I were to take deals of discipline, Dr. Wayfield. I'm sure you appreciate it. It's, it's a rewarding itself, but oh, I do wish I had something to occupy my mind more to help me pass the time. How that would ease my burden. I shall not bother you then. So she been inside. She never went outside the, 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 the wow, the Alizeum, the Asylum, the Asylum. So wow, that's really crazy. A bookshelf. Those books are not barely on psychiatry or medical science, but all serious novels for patients to read. Okay, the door. I'm sorry, sir. The, the archive is off limits. Okay, so I cannot get in because she's, she's stopping me. Okay, let's go to the stairs. This must be the recreation wing where the patient will last and pass the time. Perhaps here I can find someone who met Alexander Dupree while he was institutionalized. Okay, who shall we talk? What? What is this? A marble birth of Helia, Greek goddess of physical and mental health. Okay. The stone post, the stone box keep the patient silently complained. Let's talk to this guy. A man wear a war military uniform, lost in the, in God. No was what thoughts <clears throat> excuse me sir I could not help but notice your uniform would you in the army leave me alone you don't want to talk to a coward such as myself sir leave me alone just a coward okay um, let's talk to the lady over here good morning madame my name is Wakefield I'm looking for a former patient of his on his institution, the rumbling. She doesn't seem to have noticed. Madame, if I may proceed, have you been living here for long? The rumbling. Okay. I'm looking for a former patient in this hospital. You may have met him. An eyeless gaze. Okay, uh, let's ask him about it. I'm looking for a man that you may have met. His name is Alexander Dupree. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. She's back in the... Okay. What a strong reaction upon hearing Mr. Dupree's name. She might have at least met him. How can I get her to talk to me? Miss Cooney is, is very upset. Please do not distract her further. Okay. Okay. Let's talk to this guy. Good morning, I'm a psychiatrist, Dr. Wayfield. Quite impressive institution you have here. Can I ask you for your assistance? I'm looking for a former patient on this institution. His name is Dupree. I'm sorry, sir. I never heard that name before. Maybe one of the, your senior colleagues could know something about this former patient. Maybe you can ask Miss Friswell in the entrance hall. She had been there for years, maybe for too long. You know, we take her to live here with the patient and we are not allowed to leave the asylum premises. This light can get to you if you don't take care, if you don't take proper care. I try to keep as much distance as possible from the lunatics. Okay. The asylum is quite bad, but I can't help noticing there aren't many patients around. Well, apart from this, apart from those in the insulation war, it is true that there are not many patients at present, but there are even fewer for us caretakers now. We are the only three from the whole hospital. For what I have been told, in the old time, the income was enough to provide for everything we needed. A complete staff, a proper communication for the patients, and the best doctor. But as the newer, bigger, original asylum were built, the crown support was gradually withdrawn from the East Hill. Soon everyone started to leave. This is what remains. Wow. 
Well, thank you. In any case, I'll leave you to work in peace. Okay, so because they don't have no more money, most of the people left because the crown wasn't get wasn't you know wasn't helping them you know in the money part, uh, supporting them you know whatever. Okay, so we are in the what the hell is that? Sound like a unusual large mirror. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, let's check this. A jar full of transparent liquid that may or may not be water. There is a coin resting at the bottom. What the hell is that? Let's check it out. Oh, half a shiny. That's it. Six pence. Okay, we got a coin. Now we can buy the newspaper from the kid. Anyway, let's check around. Looks like a therapy log. Edward Roan, 27, acute demen demen dementia, September 25, 1891. Mr. Roan's condition had, de had degenerated since the last session. He is restless, as if the morphine had no effect on him. For the last week, he had been assertive, troubled for reasons unknown. September 25, 1891, the patient dosage has been doubled to no effect. Oh. September 29, 1891, Dr. Weedraw had been attacked and bitten in the face. Wow! Four men were needed to subdue the patient. Mr. Rome, three monkeys were found on his body upon examination. Self harm is a possible cause. Oh, October 3, 1891, Mr. Rome is getting better day by day, both physically and mentally. His habit had changed considered a Considerably, he is now showing interest in his religion and spends his time mumbling prayers. A bit one alone to my colleagues and me. Okay, so okay, let's check the window. There's a thin piece of metal holding the window open. Let's grab, let's grab it. Whoa! What the fuck is that? What the fuck? The dark room, the dark at the room is now. I can see through the false mirror. There's a man on the other side, heavily restrained, desperately trying to free himself. He had an impression of unbearable horror on his face. What the fuck? Whoa. Okay. There's something else here? Nope. Let's get out of here. What is this, though? A thin piece of nickel used to keep windows open. Okay, so let's get out of here since there's nothing to do. Mm, no, alright. Let's get out. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, we're gonna buy the news. We have to go back to the kid to give him the newspaper, the coin to buy the newspaper. So let's use the coin and give it to the kid. I would like a newspaper, six pences, isn't it? Here. Thank you, sir. Okay, we have a newspaper. Let's see. Today in Australian London news. The first headline is about a grim case. Scotland Yards keep its silence about the ambassador of Turkey found dead last Saturday under the mysterious circumstances. Our sources suspect have, have may, have may have been murdered. The second, the sea monster found in street out Ivans, the remaining serpent from the deep were found on the beach early yesterday morning. It's suspected they come from the seaside museum in Spain, destroyed a month ago by the sea waves during a terrifying storm. There's another drawing advising of a, a, a poeta called Love Bro Strokes. Okay, so um, there's something more beyond. Nope. Nope. We can talk to this guy. Oh, it take a back to the map. Oh, okay. So let's go back. Okay, so the guy take us back to the map. Okay, so I think we have to go back in. Uh, the newspapers for. Let's see. We have to get him the newspaper. Let's see. Let's use the newspaper. He's looked very busy. I doubt he will be interested in the, in today's news. Okay, what about the piece of metal? No, so I don't think that. Oh yeah, let's use the door. 
I can't open this heavy door with this. Okay, so no. So, who needs a newspaper? Okay, um. Let's see, let's give it to a, let's give it to a lady. Why, thank you kindly. Oh, tough for you are. Oh wow, so we get so what she needed that. My goodness, how quickly things change in the outside world. Okay, so now that she's distracted, we can go inside. Wow, we can go inside. Wow, that was easy. Uh, let's see. Um, this is the hospital archive where a record of each patient must be stored. If Mr. Dupree was really committed at East Hill, his files should be here somewhere. Okay, so let's see. Um, let's check the decks. The decks. It's been a long time since this decks was last used. It's covered with discarded paper and pans and mostly layer of dust. Oh wow. What about the drawers? The drawers are all locked. The key? Nope. Nope. This is the same. What about this one? The cabinet contains many documents detailing the treatment of patients ranging from two decades ago to last year. His file is right here, the pre Alexandri, room 108A. All the files are missing, as if they have been torn, torn, torn out. A little piece of paper remains with an address within Paul Street 26. Could that be where Alexander Dupree lived before he was committed to this hospital? Paul Street? I should follow this new lead and see if it takes me somewhere useful. Oh, so we got a new location, Paul Street. So we have to go there now. Let's see, let's keep checking. Let's see, all the dates of this cannon are prior to 1870. I'm looking for the more I'm looking for a more recent file. Okay, well, let's see what's in here. A metal lock, a small sign reads seize objects. It's locked. It's locked. I need a key to open it. Is this the key? Okay, some personal effects, probably sent by the patient family, but deemed unsafe by the caretakers. One of them is a stack of thick sheets of paper, cursely bound together, barely the drawing and the paintings of the troubled mind. Also, we got the guy's drawing. Watercolor paintings and a drawing of different subjects, a tree, a vase with flowers, something that could be a portrait, but the colors are dispersed, shape broken. This composed and mixed with a swirl of bricks flicks. Okay, so we got the guy's painting, so let's go back and get the guy his painting. Okay, let's go. Okay, here you go, dude, your painting. Hey! Are the here are are these your painting? Great wonder, they're back. Someday they will understand the light and shape as I understand them. Thank you, friend. If you want, take these cardboard sheets. Thanks to you, I had no more need of them. Okay, I will grab the cardboard. Let's see what these are. A full a few folded cardboard sheets, each one with a large cinematic patch of black ink in the middle. I heard of this technique, but always thought it was a, a, a eccentricity. Patients are supposed to see in them the deeper cause of their elements. This is the first card. That looks like a butterfly. The shade looks organic. That's like a a spider. Almost look like insects. That's a. I don't know what the hell is that one. That one is really strange. I would say this could be a face. Yeah, that's the mask. All right then. Um. Um. I think we don't need. I think there's nothing to do here. So let's go out of here and go to the the Paw Street. So let's talk to this guy and go to Paw Street. Yay! A new location and it's already nightfall. It's really dark. Let's see this door. Does it open? The number is 24. I'm looking for 20, number 26. What about this one? 
26. This is the place I was looking for, but the door is bricked up. I must find another way to get in. Alright, let's check the windows. The windows are so truly cemented over that it's almost mixed with the facade. What? So the windows also oh, the bricked up? Okay, um Postry, it ends here at this corner. Okay, so let's go here. Okay. The ruins of an old chapel are apparently destroyed by a fire. I hear something. Like somebody whispering. Whoa. There's, there's someone on their knees praying. Their face is covered by a hood. And that's the crow. The wooden cross remained almost intact. I'm impressive. I'm imp improvised out the cover in candles. With this candle, I can light my way through the dark. Oh, so we have a candle. I don't know what he's saying. I don't know. Let me hear this for a second. It sounds like um, Spanish or Italian, and I know Spanish so well. I don't know. I can barely hear it. What, he's, what the thing's hearing? Looks like the hole leads to the building next door. All right. Um. Oh, so it's really dark. So we need a candle. Oh. Uh oh. I don't like this. <laughs> Something creepy gonna happen. Oh shit. Okay, let's go in. This must be the interior of the brick up building on Sun Street, Mr. Pre former resident. Also, we in the inside. The door is bricked up. Okay. I cannot tell who this spy in the portrait since it has so badly damaged. It seems someone crushed it into the floor. Okay, uh what about here? Um, um, a military medal. This is a release of he Her Majesty the Queen and several pl pieces of metal in cray with the names of the battle unknown to me. I'll take this with me. Maybe it will mean something to one of Alexandra's fellow patients in the hospital. Okay, um... Oh, fireplace. There's something I'm on the ashes. It's a piece of paper. This is like some kind of message, but there's only one half here. The paper has been carefully burnt. Okay, so we have one paper. Oh, what is that? There's a piece of paper on the table. Another one? The paper shows some resembling random letter. It seems as if half of it is missing. Oh, let's combine it. This is strange. I put both hays back together, but some letter seems to be missing from the right half. The message does not make any sense. Okay, so... One man in high rank uniform. He's missing an arm. Okay, uh, what about the books? Check the books. Few remains in the shelf. Mostly doubtful Treatises in chemistry and alchemy. And alchemy. And I'm, I'm on the titles are Trimedias de Lapide Philosophico Greve de Inventione. This is Italian, obviously. Very tatis. The among the word of Tuba Philosophium and Lunch Print Mysterious of the Worm. Okay, oh, okay. Anything else? Oh, a safe. A large safe. Looks like a safe is working fine, I should give it a try. Oh, so we have a puzzle. Okay.
okay I don't know what to do so anyway let's go back since I don't know how to open the safe so let's go back and we had a medal so I think we have to go back to the asylum I think um, I don't know I think we had to because this is nowhere else place to go um, 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 let's see let's go inside oh so the person's still there can we talk to him now or she or whatever I think not wait 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 stop stop let me show him the paper let's see what it says nope nope what about the cards nope what about the piece of metal nope nope we cannot talk to him no way let's go back to the other the other scene the, the asylum I don't know why I why I had trouble pronouncing asylum it's not asylum it's asylum <laughs> I don't know why I get that why I mispronounced that anyway let's go back outside and go back to East Hill to see what we can find and okay so it's still bright let's see let's show this kid the paper let's see what he had to say about this nope nope what about the metal nope what about the drawings nope what about the metal thing nope probably not so nothing to do with the kid so I think we have to go back inside I think Probably we have to get the medal to the to the soldier with the uniform. So let's go in there and get him the medal. I hope it works. Oh God! This medal, I have one just like this. Got it after the battles of Lane Neck and Majiva Hill in 1881, a decade ago. For a distinguished conduct in the field, it said, "What a farce." So you were in the army as I thought. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Dr. Wakefield, Sergeant William Cornhill, Her Majesty's Sixth Light Infantry. Are you another one of their alliances? Do you doctors not realize that cowardice cannot be cured by your arts? Why are they keeping you here? Why are they keeping you here? Does that to say I suffer from a nervous disorder? I believe that's a turn for when themselves, with all their learning, they do not know what to say, but I know the true name of my sickness is pure cowardice. I'm looking for a former patient of this hospital. You may have met her. His name is Alexander Dupree. Yes, I do know a man by that name. We met briefly. He was here when I arrived. What do you know about him? He was a proper lad, educated. He listened closely to the stories of the other inmates, but he kept his own to himself. We talked a lot. He was very close to Miss Cole, too. I think they got here at the same time, but when he left, he did so alone. I wonder that what become of him since. Who is Miss Cole? She is a patient here, the lady with a temperate character. You may have come to her already. She had not been the same since Mr. Dupree left, you know? She always sits to the side alone in silence. I thought you can talk to her at all, even if you try. She sees things, or at least she thinks she does. What do you talk about, you and Mr. Dupree? We talk about my time in South Africa. I don't like to talk about that, but he somehow made me want to. He was persuasive. He was very interested. He was very interest interested in one particular story, almost absurd about it. He wanted to know every little detail. Can you tell me that story? I'm trying to find a patient of mine who was gone missing, and this could be my only hope of finding him. I do not rely th those memories. A missing patient, you, you say? I... Alright, maybe my story will be Sanju's then. It happened during the Battle of Majuva Hill. I am sure you have heard of it in March 81. The attack of Barrel Army had taken us by surprise and our regiment was forced to split up. We quickly found ourselves alone. We just a few men lost on the barren plain. But I don't want to bore you. No sir, you certainly aren't. Please continue. Okay, so... As I said, we were a few and we were sure the enemy was lurking out there in the cold air of dusk. A thick fog formed quickly, masking everything around us. We can barely see each other. Okay.
Oh, I can move. I can move in this game. I thought this was a cutscene, but I can move. Then the other stars disappear in the fog, which was thicker and thicker. Okay. I still heard the footsteps for a while, then nothing. I called their names out loud, even though I knew I shouldn't. Something about the fog terrified me. Uh oh. I felt something in there, not far, a murmur or a beating, someone alive waiting. I couldn't help walking towards it. Holy shit. This is gonna get creepy. All of a sudden, my feet felt something in the mud. A body. They were all there, dead. Only Captain Skid was missing. <gasps> Whoa! Holy shit! This is getting creepy! Whoa, what happened? This is getting creepy. Then the mist clear out. What happened? What had happened? I never knew for certain. I didn't see anything. Or if I did, my mind refused to bear such memories. What happened to Captain Skid? When he finally regained consciousness, I was, I was like someone else looked out at us through his eyes. I guess whatever happened affected him, changed him. I knew that he came back to London. Mr. B asked me of his whereabouts. Maybe he tried to contact him to hear the rest of his story. He was quite occupied by it. Do you know where I can find Captain Skid? Last I heard from fellow Burton, he had lost himself to the freezing of alcohol, opium, and a bad company. To the downward spiral led him as many other to a witcher and a deer in a dirty hole deep in street gal's rockery known as the Crimson Nest. Maybe you will find him there alive even if you're lucky. Here's the picture of our regiment. You can see him there. Yes, we have a new location. Street Giles. Okay, so we're gonna go there right now. So we have a picture, he gave us a picture. A photograph of combat ends in the board war. Among them there are Sergeant Conhill, Conhill and Captain Skid. Okay, so let's go to Street Gale. Gills or Gales, whatever. Okay, let's Yep, boom. Let's go down here. <gasps> this is is the slum of Street Gale. The Crimson now shouldn't be far. Oh my God! This is like the dream that he had, the same dream. Why he does this? Is the same dream from the beginning. Oh my God! Is it the same guy? It is! Oh my god! This man, he looks like the man from my nightmares. He's blonde in one eye, the empty circuit glistening in the lamplight. He seemed to want something from me in my dream. The man has said, give me back what he took. Uh, this? He doesn't look like he doesn't look like anyone in this picture. I doubt he ever been his. Give me back what he's took. He has sat in his nightmare. Paper? No. This one? No. What about this? No. What about this? No. What about the candle? No. But. What do you want me to give you? I don't have nothing. The soft glimmer of the street lamp casts a, com a, com a comforting glow on the other side and the streets. What do we need to do? So we cannot, um, so I don't have nothing to him. What should I give him? I don't know what to do. I'm stuck. Let's go back here. Let's see what's inside here.
What's up to this guy? Nope. I have to go back to the asylum, I think. Wait, what is this? A mess of wooden plank, the remains of beach and chairs. Benches and chairs. Okay, so nope. I don't think we need to go here. What did he want? Let's go into the asylum again. Let's see, um... Let's go talk to the... Oh, let's see, who are we gonna talk to? Talk to her again? Nope. Let's talk to him again. So you come here, please let me be. Memories of war, pain, but I don't want to remember them ever again. Okay, um, show her the picture. Okay, what about the cars fit in the f nope. Let's show her the paper. Nope. No, what about the cards? Nope. The photograph? No. What do I need to do? Okay, uh, I don't know what to do. Nope. Ah, shoot. Let to show you the picture. Nope. What the heck I need to do? Uh, Let me check the... Wait a second, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up. Hmm. Let me combine this again. Vividy. Okay, this looks like this, this looks like a five. And the other one looks like a six? A six. So, okay, uh, okay, I hope I, I'm right about this. It looks like a, let me go back to, uh, let me go back to the pause to the safe. Let's see, I, I hope I'm right because in the papers, it looks like number, you know, because this is gr the Greeks. It, the Greek numbers, so uh, let's see if I'm right. I hope I'm right. I'm just, I just, I hope I'm right. Let's go back here. Okay, let's go back here. I hope I'm right. Let's see. Um. Let's go to the safe. Okay, um. Okay, let's go to five, six, five. No. It has to be, you know. Let's check the paper again. So, paper here. It has V D D D D and the other paper has a the other paper has something. Okay. It has a more hmm. hmm. I wonder Okay, um Okay One Okay, all I know is six, okay, so yep.
Okay, and... Ah! Clack, and now we're going back to... Okay, now we're gonna go to... Okay, we got four, okay. Okay, okay, we have six, one, four, five. <gasps> wow, I guessed it. I knew it. The paper was right. It's empty. Wait, this is not safe, but an entrance to a passage. It is completely dark. The only way to know where Lee is by crawling into it. Oh, so that's a passage? Wow, I'm so happy, proud of myself. I knew the paper was right. What the hell is that? A, ma a mathematic formula written fast and, car and carelessly. Some of the symbols had never seen before. I never seen before. What the hell is this? A four chairs forming a circle as if the hideout served as some sort of meeting place. Okay, um... A list of numbers look like some kind of calendar or timable. <gasps> what the fuck is that?! A strange machine bit out of words, steel and gas, and I wonder what its function could be. What the hell is that?! What the hell is that?! There's someone sitting here wearing a horrible mask and a general robe. He is not moving. Uh oh, this is creepy. Whoa! Okay, it's only a gibber roll. There's no body inside at all. What what could be the meaning of this? That's creepy. Uh oh. What the fuck? What the fuck? That scared a shit. That scared me a little bit. Wow, she was gone. Okay, now I'm now I got the mask, so I think I have to give it to the to the guy. Let's see, let's let's see, um, let's see. I think he wants the mask, but I'm so happy that I found out the combination of the save. I'm so proud of myself for that. Anyway, let's get him the mask. I think that's what he wants. He looks at the map for a second, only stares at me again, give me back what he took as he sat in his nightmare. Then what? Then what the f- Really? Really? The map I found in Alexander Dupree, former resident, is similar to that those who used by the ancient Greek theater. The holes from the eyes are missing. Some will be possible from the word to see a thing. The impression is one of the ex- ex- Crucinating horrors. Okay, so he doesn't want the mask. Oh, what the hell did he need? Don't tell me I have to go back there again. I hope not. Let's see. Let's go back here. Let's show this to the lady. This seems to be important to solve the mystery surrounding the Reed's appearance. I should keep it to show it to Kaufman when we meet again. Okay, um, what about this guy? Nope. What about this lady over here? Oh, 
Whoa! Whoa! It's the isolation word from you this time, madam. The face of the playwright. The face of the playwright. She tried to kill him. What the hell was that for? That's all that this window shuttered. The curtain cats are marching shadow over the corner of the... Wow! I never expected that at all. She tried to kill him. What happened? That poor woman. They may have taken her to the institution ward. Oh, let's go over there. Let's go. Wow, she suddenly strangled him for because she showed her she he showed her the mask. Let's go in there then. Is it open now? Lights is full of the world with shades. Okay, now we can go in. Now that it's open. Oh wow, it's really dark. Whoa! What is this place? Not much light managed to reach this room. Who is that? Hello, my name is Wakefield. The butterfly is not what it seems. Excuse me, but what butterfly? There's more than the scrap it. Oh, you mean this? Is this a butterfly you talked about? It is played a wonderful color filled in your eyes with art, but this is only a show behind the veil. A body crawls on the dirty ground, hidden in the darkness, and transport another of its lies. What? So what would this be? Dark body creaks and rests with blind movement, slowly step by step. It gets closer and closer and closer and closer. What about this one? It will come whatever you do. It will cry out loud, look at you from everywhere at the same time. What about this one? Him. Him? His mask. My mate from the other room used to scream at night. Always told us that he could feel something under his bed. A presence. An eye gaze. An eyeless gaze. Is this the one they hit? It's okay. Uh, what about the picture? Nope. I think we can go back inside. Yep. Can we close it? No, I don't think so. Room, oh. Room, oh, 104. Who's inside? Nobody. Our old pendant on the dresser. It looks bearable, but valuable. Let's see. Let's take a look on it. Our old starnish silver pendant. Okay, so nothing in here. Only a panda, but that was it. Let's keep searching. Oh, uh, let's see what this one is. 106A. Ooh, a room. Impressive painted a lovely maiden is equipped with a fairly magnificent frame. Magnificent frame. Wait, wait, wait. No, let's check inside. An expensive looking piece of furniture. There's nothing on it. What about the window? Nothing? A mirror cover in the I wonder what things has seen in this room. What about the bed? Could this be the room of the patient mate? Who was a fairy presence on the, his bed? Whoa! What the hell? <gasps> what the fuck? This game is going wow, this game is really amazed me each time. There's something written on the wall. One of them came last night. I knew was it actually was because the sign is carry. The sign of the eye. I killed it and hit it well. If more come, they will not find their friend nor its eye. The door is bricked up. Who can do such a thing? The window is sealed too. Almost not light can reach them, reach the room. I doubt anyone has slept in this place in a long time. Okay, wow. So nothing else? Okay, that's freaking creepy if you ask me. Whoa. 
Okay, let's keep walking. 100A. Oh, it's, the door is closed for good with bricks. Looks like they were pretending it never existed. They didn't even try to disguise it. A bunch of bricks. Either the construction reason it or not yet finished or they were in a hurry to see the room. Okay. I think over here. Oh, it will come after us. Asylum cells. The door is shut. There's no way to open it. I think we do. I think this will open it, right? Okay, um... That's it. Let's go here again. Let's speak to this guy. Let's give him the pendant. Let's see if he's interested. Nope. So I think we had nothing to do here. So let's get out of here. I think that's what the guy needs. The pendant. I hope it's the pendant. I wonder how long I've been playing. I think I've been playing for an hour, I think. Anyway. Um, okay, let's get him the pendant. He stare and he still stains from my eyes, but the pendant doesn't in interest to him. Get back what he took, he sent it in my nightmare. Then what the hell? <laughs> what the hell do I need? Hey guys, it's me, I'm back, and oh my god, I wasted hours, an hour, looking about what this guy wanted, like seriously, I gave him the freaking metal thing, the mask and everything, and he doesn't want anything, so I was totally lost, and I didn't know where to go, so I decided to do an emergency, an emergency, so I went to online and went on, on the guide, and don't worry, it is still gonna be blind and not spoiled, so I don't know what's gonna happen next. But I check on a quick, very quick on the guide, and what I had to do is um, I had to go back to the asylum and and um, uh, go back to the asylum and um, go here and go to the room that you know we found the the bricks, the room where there's the freaking um. Yeah, no, not that room. The the other room. Let's see. Um. Yep. Um. Yep. That room, and there's gonna be a tile, but I don't know where the tile is. So I don't know where is it. So um. Hmm. Where's the tile? Is this the tile? Let's see. Let's use uh. Let's use the thing in the tile. It said it's supposed to be a tile, but I don't see one, so I don't know where is the tile. The, it said it's supposed to be a tile somewhere. Uh, I think this is it. it. It said it has to be. Oh! So there it is, the tile. And we use this. And inside, there's gonna be a. Uh, there's something there, half buried in soil under the tile. And we got a... Whoa! Okay. Long dead bird, just feather and bones. It's holding something in the beak. A dirty and horrible deformed glass eye. So yeah, so once you use that, you're gonna have this. Um... I don't know what to do next. For I think for me, I have to. I think this is what the guy needs. I think so. After this, I don't know what to, what's gonna happen next. So um, let's see. Let's get. Uh, I think that's what I think the guy. Let's see if the guy wants the eye. If not, then I don't know what the fuck I need to do. Um. Okay. Um. Okay. Let's go. Uh, 
let's go here and let's see if the guy wants the eye if not then shit okay um i hope i'm right okay let's get him the eye oh yes it was the eye Do we have to follow him? Oh yes, we had to. Where are we going? Whoa. Okay, shall we go inside? This must be the crimson nest. I've heard of such places where people lose their mind to the up some shit from the Orient. I never thought I would set foot in one. Okay, let's get inside. Um. Whoa, there's a lot of smoke in here. Please wake up, dear. Please wake up. An addicted, completely asleep. Please don't do this. A man who lost a gaze, his mouth open. Oh, God, so there's a drug addict. Let's talk to this lady. What is it, madame? My husband, he's unconscious. Please, dear, wake up. I'm the doctor. Please let me see him. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. He's not breathing. He had no pulse. Your husband passed away hours ago. No, no, no. It can't be. Madame. I'm late. This time, I couldn't save him. What do you mean this time? I just got my husband addition to the hellish drug that caught opium months ago. I first thought he was sick and I saw him grow thinner every day. Then I discovered he was visiting this place. I was very worried. I tried to dissuade him, but he wouldn't listen. The addition was stronger than he was. At the time he was away for days, I wouldn't I would come here and find him passed out. The only way I would get him out was to put the smelling salts under his nose. Now it's too late. Here, take the veil. Maybe you'll be time to save another soul from this curse. I'll leave you alone with your husband. Ah, The husband died. A woman looking at the wood with her eyes going white. She's minding some ramblings. Okay, what about there's a kid? A short haired woman smoking without worry. Okay, what about this person? The, the musician is intoxicated with a drug smoke that fills the air. The repeated arrangement gives the sensation that time flows slowly. Okay, this guy? Okay, I think that we have to give this to this guy. Or not? Wait. Oh look, there's a guy over here. Hello, I'm looking for a man who believed Frank Print the establishment. A war baron from South Africa called Skid. He is riding on the stale. Can you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I read and can't hear so I suppose you communicate with him by riding the stay. Looking for Captain Skid. Don't know, he doesn't know the Captain's name then. Words are not enough. The man is curled up under the blanket, trembling as he was freezing. It could be an effect of a drug. A man lay on his back, breathing rapidly and layering with, with pale him and an odd liquid. The smoke has eaten away his lungs. Wow, that's what he said. The young couple seems to have come here together to enjoy the despicable vice. Okay, let's go into this door. See what. The door is locked. Okay. Uh, do we need the... Nope. What should I... Why would I get him the... This is important. Yeah, okay. The photograph. Oh, so that worked. He written something, object of value. What does he mean by that? I mean the pendant? Oh. 
Okay. Doing progress. Wonder what's inside. Oh. A room. A table with several island pipes on top. Some of them have been recently used. A Chinese screen with a floor or, 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 or ornament. Oh wait, that's, there he is. It's Captain Skid. No doubt he's unconscious, but still, he still breathes. The veil. Whoa. What's the matter? Who let you in here? Get out. My name is Wavefield. I need to talk to you. Are you Captain Skid? Her Majesty Six Life Infantry. The title belongs to me no more. Who are you? And what do you want from me? Leave me alone with my misery. A soldier that used to serve under your command told me I might find you here, William Cornhill. Yes, I remember him. We served together. I have made many mistakes trying to forget those years of my life. Now I'm afraid those memories will follow me to my grave. I'm looking for information about a man called Alexander Dupree. I used to know Dupree. He was not a man but a fiend. What do you want? What do you want with someone like him? There are certain secrets that are better left undisturbed. A painter man had disappeared. Alexander is the only one that may know his whereabouts. Is that true that the priest and bomb your patient disappearance? Then I'm afraid that matter is out of my reach. Yours too. Please leave me alone. Have you ever heard of Jeremiah DeVeet? I must find him. DeVeet? No, I have not. I found your medal. It was in the house of the Paul Street, door 26. You were there, right? You, you think you know what you're doing? But you cannot imagine what you're getting into. I ask you for the last time, leave and forget this matter. I will not leave until I find the answer I'm seeking. Tell me what I want to know. You fool. That's... Uh, for the devil's sakes, all right. If you want to ruin your life, you're free to do it. What really happened in Majumba Hill? Sergeant Cohill told me the story, but his details were confusing. I will never be able to forget that day. Nobody knew what really happened. Command decided that we must have been ambushed. Now I know better. There was something in that fog. Something that did not like like us did not like us entering a, a domain a sentinel of some sort the thing is what killed my soldiers how do you met Alexander Dupree it was in the Baroness hospital recovery for an illness unknown to psychiatrist psychiatrist and Amanda of the souls the pre managed to contact me there he wanted to know my my vision of the story what had happened to me in the battle of my Jumba hills in the house, I saw a machine still operating. What was that? A machine? I do not know of what you're talking about. That was just one of many places to use as a base for Alexander activities. The only one who knew the location I was allowed to know. Okay, ba 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 ba. Did you really? Did you know why he was so interested in your story? I did not know immediately, but with time, I realized that the truth about the, what happened to me was important to his activities. As was I myself, but if you think that he tricked me, you could not be more wrong. I wanted to enter the dragon's mouth, and I burned with a need to know. What was Mr. Dupree doing then? You really do not know, do you? Have you really heard about the playwright? I never heard of that before. Yes, I heard of it before. Yes, I heard it mentioned before. What is it? Whoa! Whoa! What's what's happening? Whoa! As imagine you know nothing. The pre is not alone. He is but a peak of the pyramid, a battle group which powerful people taken part. A society acting in secret, ruled by a single sacred law, see that no one knows. I was part of it. The pre himself recommended me. Whoa. 
what the hell? We got out and we got out every month and we saw you cannot imagine. A certain or no man sleep protects the mind from something or out of something the fog or the veil protect us. But through the veil we could peek out into the abyss, we could know of the unspeakable shape that rides beyond, a black nothingness, entire full of horrors. We could never cross the threshold. What we saw was forbidden. Look at me, forbidden. I could not bury anymore, so I ran. I ran. I hid from them. It was too late to run or to forget. I must go back to East Hill and try to talk to Miss Cone. If what the captain said is true, she might have been one of them. She could know where to find him. Can we talk to him again? Oh, it was too late to run or to forget. Okay, so let's go back to the... Uh, the... The asylum. What the fuck? Whoa! What's going on? Whoa! What the fuck? I'm freaking out. <gasps> I cannot do this anymore. I don't care. I just want us just to be together. You know it's too hard. I don't feel free. I know, dear. I know. We figured it. We will figure it out. Who, who, who are you home so early? I know. I knew all along. How could you? You know you never love each other. Silence, you had no honor. And you, what you had to say? Why, I gave you everything. You won't understand, I... Enough, you will leave in the morning. I won't see you ever again. I'll wait for you at dawn until the old windmill. So you can try to recover what is little honor you once had. I'll be there. What the hell was that? Whoa. I must have faded. I must have faded. What is this? Where am I? I cannot see outside clearly. A matchbox? This could be useful. What the hell happened? I don't have the max anymore. Uh, the door is shut for good and had no knob, no keyhole even. What? Well, there's something on the chair I can see. A old furniture. The marks of dust on the floor looks like the chair had been moved recently. Shifting to the chair would be a small dark hole in the wall. A small hole in the wall is too dark to see inside. The matches? The, the matches too short. I cannot stretch my hand further either to see what lies beyond the... Hmm. There's a blanket on the bed. I shot it. I, I take a shred of this blanket. Oh. Okay, so we use the matches. Okay, um okay. Okay, got an idea. I swear I saw I, sw I would swear I saw a pair of feet in, in there. Who who is there? We have met before. I cannot see you. Who are you? Don't you recognize my voice? I'm sorry, I do not. Do you know what this place is? Is is this the starting point? The first place to look. But who are you? Why are you doing here? Remember this. 
I will never be here forever. Darkness will light your way. Stay out of the light, then I will disappear. And you will be alone in the end. I don't understand. Tell me who you are. I can hear Bree behind the wall. The blanket is now ruined. Okay, who the hell is that? I cannot see outside clearly. I must take it with me. Okay. Whoa! What the fuck? What happened to the room? <gasps> David Jeremiah! David, is that you, David? Whoa! Jeremiah, blood! What the fuck? <gasps> oh shit, that's gonna shatter me. Tell me, why are you doing this? It's because you care about your patients? Or out of scientific curiosity? It is for your pride? Because if it's our professional responsibility, if it's your professional responsibility? Or is it because the right thing to do? Why are you doing this? <gasps> Whoa! No! The Veet! It's alright, Miss Livia Frund. How are you feeling? I feel dizzy. What happened? Where are we? At my house. I went to East Hill to meet you and find you inside one of the cells, unconscious. You closed flesh in an opium smoke. I had, I had you brought here. You've been out for a day and a half. Wow. I think it's coming back to me. I was at one of these op opium dens. I might have passed out after bringing the dense smoke. Listen, I have to tell you my investigation unearthed a great deal of new information. Alexander was indeed institutionalized in East Hill, but his files were missing. I managed to take down a man who knew him. He told me a story that you would not believe and there was this woman, a patient at the hospital. She was completely out of her mind. She attacked me. What is happening to these people, Kaufman? How is this Alexander related to Mr. DeBeat? I think this patient, Miss Cohen, might know how to find Alexandre. We must go back there and talk to her, whatever it takes. I'm afraid that will not be possible. What do you mean? Frau Cohen is no longer at East Hill. I what? What? Frau Cohen is not longer at East Hill. She escaped last night. God Almighty! Don't worry, man, Frau. I think I might know where she's hiding. Get ready. We might leave promptly. Promptly. Wow. They are coming. They are laying him in. Now that the door has been opened. They are coming. Whoa! 
Is that the end? The play was great thanks to the generous supporters of play who participated in the Grand Fun campaign. The will continue in episode two. So this is the end of episode one guys. So yeah, um Start description in Tour or whatever. So um anyway, um this is the end of part one of this game. So um until next time guys and see you on episode two. Bye.